Somebody told me I should film installing uh, hangboards. I bought these two hangboards, this one here, at the uh, Three Letter Outdoor Adventure Store. And they were on sale, so I thought, you know what, sweet. I do have pull-up rings, those are in the basement, but I thought, you know, do I march down the basement? I don't remember to do them. But if this thing is staring me in the face, I can do it. And so I bought two of them, a small one here, and then the bigger one there and i'm going to explain a couple of the challenges of doing this install in this video and some things you want to consider when you're doing it oh good my closet's open nice not that you care about uh, seeing more of my gear so a couple challenges let me flip this over so ideally according to metolius or metulius or however you pronounce it whoa there theoretically should be a third joist or a stud in here, but there isn't, just how they design my house. There's an accessible stud here. I've measured it with yield stud finder. Yeah, barely. And then there's a stud over here. Right here. And what I thought was a stud right here. Well, it's not. I ended up having to drill a hole because I thought, you know, this is feeling weird. This is just a joint in the wall. There is no stud behind there. And what I had to do is behind here, there is a hole that I drilled. And I'm going to take this off anyway, just to show you where I'm going with this. There's a stud here. And I found there's a vertical two by four that runs on this side of the wall, not on that side, and or it's it's laid on its side like this, all the way across, and then it terminates and it's towed in here, but there's nothing vertical here, so this screw is in this vertical standing two by four, which really stinks, because this, if you can see here, when I pull on it, will flex. Yeah, I don't want that to flex at all. So what I'm going to do is, once I get this guy installed, I'm going to put it on the wall, wherever it is. I'm going to put this on the wall, and then I'm going to tie back with a huge bolt through the wall, through here, to this side, and I'm going to squeeze them just so there's pressure, not going to break the wall, so that way this load of pulling here will actually be carried by the stud, which is too far away. And that way when the bolt comes through, this one by 10 and this one by 10 will physically be tied in that corner. That way there's no way to damage this over time. Also, I plan to route the edges. I'm going to texturize this wood and paint it so it blends into the wall. So it doesn't look like some 22 year olds ghetto climbing setup. It's actually going to look very nice. So I'm going to continue on and show you what I'm doing. Right now I'm using number nine screws that are three inches long, these guys. And I've settled on Torx bits, not Phillips bits, because I got sick of things stripping out. I'm just putting this in momentarily here, just to hold things. There we go. Milwaukee brushless impact driver. Gorgeous. Love this thing. So I'm going to screw it here. I'm going to put a screw there just to set it up, just to test. And I'll show you uh, when I'm done, but I'm just going to put some screws on this thing just to hold it. I will tell you from personal experience, I've been pu doing pull-ups on door jams for like, mm, since my teens. And yeah, my fingers kind of hurt from it. And I've only, like, kind of heard one or two crunch of all the time I've done that. So, my personal experience of carrying my weight, you know, not uh, not super light, 160, 170 pounds, depending on if we've got a load on or not. But I'm taking advantage of the vertical stud here, the vertical stud there, the carrying capacity of this. And I know every construction person will say, that's a violation! It's worked for me for 20 years. I just got tired of doing finger crimps for pull-ups that kind of hurt my hand. And the spacing 
on these guys is five and a half inches so the center is two and uh, like five and a quarter on top of that ultimately i'm going to use stainless steel t25 hex heads or you know torx heads instead of black because i think they look better just me personally they don't sit in the recess as well but i think they look way sexier i don't get any rust here but uh, that's a thing compared to these guys, they're coated deck screws, but they automatically looks like rust, which I don't find that attractive. And then these are the Phillips, which of course you will strip out and they will look like hell forever, versus the Torx, easy to remove if need be. Okay. And now, <laughs> I've got the bigger board on this side with a little more clearance so it's fat and it's five inches longer or about 12 or 13 centimeters longer than the smaller board so centering it makes sense here but when you look at this one when it's not centered in the frame it actually doesn't look weird because your eye actually causes you to start here so it's actually centered there i'm not going to hang on this but as you can see by having this one here and this one here, I can actually do dual stuff. Finish it off by hand. Booyah! <laughs> yeah! That was a fun little project to get these hangboards, fingerboards mounted up on the frame of the door. As you saw, there were some challenges. But now, <laughs> I can literally jungle gym from one side to the other, and then eat it on the desk. That was a fun time, uh, definitely some challenges with getting the beam mounted, so I had to put a carriage bolt up in the corner. Not as ideal as I want, wanted to, but now that it's kind of compressed sandwich, there's no way this is going to flex. I mean, I got a 3 8 bolt that's seven and a half inches through there nothing's gonna happen that definitely gives me an option besides my rock rings where i can hang and do pull-ups that way when i'm working in my office i can take a pause come out get some workouts in maybe a little hangboarding work and just work on the finger strength because as i get older it is a challenge now hopefully this gives you an idea what it takes to make it look pretty decent with texture and really blends in i mean i love the look up there i couldn't even barely see the edge with the right light it's pretty slick check out links below to all the things that i used in this video lots and lots of production time on this bad boy hopefully you enjoy it my name is aaron linstout i'm a polar explorer and very hungry professional adventurer please check out links below as i said and like comment and smash that subscribe button so you can get more fun info like this